In this video, we're going to tell you everything you need to know about the Permaret Denture Tooth Retention System. Chris, tell me how this thing works. It's a super easy, super simple system to add mechanical retention to denture teeth. Right, so actually, can we go even back a second? What are some of the common problems with dentures that this is going to address? Sure. Whether it's a uh, traditional, you know, gingiva supported denture, whether it's an implant supported denture or an implant retained denture, a lot of times there's huge bite forces that come down. Mm. Could also be a case where there's not a lot of interocclusal space and we've tried to cut down teeth, tried to reduce the amount of acrylic where we can't get the bond or retention that we'd like to secure the tooth. So what happens in the real world when this goes wrong? In the real world, a tooth pops off, <laughs> breaks off. That's going to be embarrassing. The patient's going in to see the dentist, and that patient is like, hey, you know, why is my tooth breaking off? Right. So we've put together this really nice, simple system for repairing cases like this. All right, let's jump in, man. Show me how this thing works. All right, so it's really easy. There's uh, three pieces to the system. We have a, a twist drill. Mm -hmm. It's calibrated and threaded to the same uh, size and diameter as the wire. Mm -hmm. The wire is very unique. This is silver wire. It's biocompatible. You can see the threads on it. This is actually going to thread into the uh, tooth once we create uh, tap threads in it. So this actually, that thread exactly matches the hole that this drill bit, so to speak, is gonna make. Correct. Okay. The third piece of the system is the wire holder. Mm -hmm. We're going to put our threaded silver wire into the wire holder, Okay. measure it out. So when I take a look at the tooth I want to repair or add on, I decide how far I want to drill in. Okay. In this case, I want to drill about one millimeter. Okay. So I'm going to take a pen and I'm going to mark on the drill one millimeter. And is that a special particular pen or you can use anything for that? You can use anything. Okay. Then what I'll do is I'll come over to the wire and I'll see where that millimeter is. Right. And I'll mark the wire to know to stop threading it in. Okay. So I will turn the turn this on. And basically what I'm going to be doing is tapping threads into this denture tooth. And you just know where to stop because you run into that mark. Exactly. Easy. Next. I'll take the threaded wire. I only want a little bit extending because it is silver. If you have a long length extending, it'll start to buckle and move. And I'm simply going to thread this into the denture tooth up to where we see that blue marking on the wire. And that's already a solid bound thing. I mean, if you want to yank that thing off, you probably you couldn't do so. No, I like to think I'm a pretty strong guy and I can't get it out. <laughs> I could not get this out. One of the nice things at this point is that if you want to bend it, mm -hmm. if you want to move it to provide more space for acrylic, it's very simple. I'll extend out a little bit of wire. Mm -hmm. And if I want to bend this closer, all I have to do is lean on the wire this way. It bends it over and all of a sudden I've created more room for acrylic resin. It's very simple. To trim it, and there you have your mechanical tooth retention to hold that tooth in place so it doesn't pop off out of acrylic resin. All done. All done. I have a couple more questions for you, if I may. Uh, so this particular denture tooth retention system, is this relevant as an add-on to a flexible partial? That's probably one of the biggest applications we see it used for is adding on to a flexible partial because repairs and add-ons so, are so difficult for those systems. Okay, cool. So it's a good match for that particular system. Absolutely. If you're going to be using it on a flexible system, you'll be drilling two holes in the tooth. One is coming straight up through the intaglio surface, and one is coming distal. You'll thread two wires in there, mm -hmm. and then add your repair material. All right, so this is made for that as well. Absolutely. All right, cool. And then uh, my last question here is flipper tooth retention. Is this relevant sure. in that circumstance? Absolutely. You know, flippers a lot of the times are used to maintain space, so there's not the crowding and the opposing teeth coming down. So for a flipper, you have, most of the time, you have a very thin area of acrylic holding in this one tooth. 
the tooth is, is very common for the tooth to pop off because it's a very thin area of acrylic it's bonded to. Mm. With this system, because you have the wire into the tooth, you can move the wire to a very aesthetic position. It's an easy way to retain the teeth and stop those flippers from breaking. Makes a lot of sense. Sure does. There you have it. If you'd like to find out more, please come visit us online at Preet.com where all of these uh, supplies are available. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us uh, through our 1-800 number or through email or through our contact form. We'd love to answer any of your technical questions or uh, if you need us for any customer support. Again, come visit us at Preet.com.